Ang susunod na programa ay rated PG. Patnubay at gabay ng magulang ay kailangan sa mga batang manunood. Engaging inquirer yet. Explore the Philippines through FastCat, Jam, and Filtronco with our inter-island connectivity over land and sea. By combining the resources of our companies, we aim to transport people and cargo to various destinations across the country. FastCat, Jam, and Filtronco connecting the Philippine Islands. The Healing Eucharist is brought to you by. Philippine Daily Inquirer, St. Peter Life Plan and Chapels, Balikbayan Handicrafts, Sekosana Ladies Bags, Jam, Phil Tranco, and Fast Cat. This is my body. This is the cup of my blood. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ. The Healing Eucharist Incorporated and the SVD Secretariat for Social Communications, in cooperation with ABS-CBN, Philippine Daily Inquirer, St. Peter Life Plan and Chapels, Balikbayan Handicrafts, Sekosana Ladies Bags, Jam, Filtranco, and Fascat, Celebrate with you this Holy Mass. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Lino Nicasio, SVD, concelebrated with Father Raul Caga, SVD. Let us rise and start our celebration. Okay. 
masaya ng araw na ito. This is a real joyful day. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Corpus Christi, the most sacred and holy body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, otherwise known as the Holy Eucharist. E tayo, Healing Eucharist. So kapistahan din natin ngayon. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. And likewise, today we celebrate Happy Father's Day. So binabati natin all the fathers who are here and worldwide who join us. Happy Father's Day. So let us now begin our joyful celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather together around the altar of the healing Eucharist, Jesus Christ himself, we acknowledge our sinfulness. We acknowledge the many times that we have forgotten, neglected our Lord in the most blessed sacrament. For that and all our sins, we ask the Lord's forgiveness. the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to His people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption. 
who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. As the Israelites wandered in the desert, the Lord sustained them with manna. This food from heaven prefigures the bread of life that the Lord will give to his people for life eternal. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for forty years now the Lord your God has directed all your journeying in the desert, so as to test you by affliction, and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger, and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert, with its seraph, serpents, and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth swiftly runs his word praise the lord jerusalem he has proclaimed his word to jacob his statutes and his ordinances to israel he has not done thus for any other nation his ordinances he has not made known to them alleluia praise the lord jerusalem through our sharing of the Eucharistic food and drink, we become one with Christ and with one another. The Eucharist is the reason and the strength of our search for unity. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace rise to honor the Holy Gospel. living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread 
will live forever and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Palakpakan natin muli ang ating Panginoon as we celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ, otherwise known as the Solemnity of Corpus Christi. How important is this Corpus Christi or the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ, the Holy Eucharist, our healing Eucharist to us? Well, from our culture, tayo mga Pilipino, mahilig sa pagkain. Pag nakikita tayo, when we see each other, ano ang mga kasama sa first questions? Ha? Kumain ka na? Sa probinsya, when you are walking, nakita ka ng kumari mo, kumpare mo, nalanad doon sa bintana, Oy, shh, mare, daan mo na! Ah, ano sunod? Kain mo na! Yeah, mahilig tayo sa pagkain. Because, it not only gives us life, but it brings us together. Yan ang nilalaman ng kapistahan ng solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ. Alam niyo sa buhay, uh, we need food to be healthy and to live long, hopefully. Di ba? But, mm -mm, but, According to nutritionists, ingat, 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 may mga pagkain hindi maganda, not good for our health, and does not promote good health or even long life. Oh, tataka kayo? Di ba may mga pagkain na sasabi ng doktor, Uy, bawal ito sa iyo, magkakaroon ka ng diabetes. Di ba? Uy, bawal ito sa iyo, magkakaroon ka ng uh, uric acid. O, oh, bawal sa iyo. Dito, tataas ang iyong kolesterol. Uy, bawal ito sa iyo. Masama ito sa iyong puso. Uy, bawal ito sa iyo. Sabi mo, ay no, nakakainin ko ngayon. And according to uh, experts, ingat daw tayo sa pagkain kasi tad-tad ng mga preservatives. I was giving a talk to a group of sisters, mga madre, I, for some reason, napansin ko, eh, alam nyo, nabalita, huwag daw kakain ng ganitong candy yun eh. Hindi ko nalang babanggitin ko anong pangalan. Uh -huh. Bakit daw, Father? Ay, ito daw, punong-puno ng preservatives yung ginagamit sa pang-embalsa mo. Ha? Sabi ng mga madre, ha? Ay, tumayo yung isang madre. Naku, Father, favorite ko pa naman yan. Nandain mo ko nang nakain ganyan. Ay, sabi ng Mother Superior, eh, ay good news sa atin yan. Pag namatay ka, makakatipid tayo. Hindi ka na namin ipaiimbalsa mo. Ingat, ingat. O, Mag-google mag kayo, mag-internet kayo, makikita nito. Foods that endanger our health. 
Hindi mo na alam ngayon kung anong, anong magandang kakainin. Di ba? I mean, you know that. Oo. Tad-tad ng preservatives. Tad-tad ng kung ano-anong chemicals. Kaya pala, sabi na ba, kaya pala ngayon, nung una, hindi masyado yung cancer. Ngayon, cancer agad. At saka, stage 4 agad. Ay ano ang dahilan? Yang kinakain nating tad-tad ng mga kung ano-ano. But the good news is, may pagkain that not only preserves us, our health, and especially our spiritual health, but even prolongs life to eternity. And that is none other than what we are celebrating today, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ Himself. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Ay, saan hahanapin po ito? Sasabihin naman ng... Saan po hahanapin ito? Saan supermarket ito? Ay, hindi ka na magsusupermarket. Huh? Sumimba ka lang. Magmisa ka lang. Magholy Eucharist ka lang. That's what we are doing now. Because Jesus, as He promised, as we heard in the Gospel, says, Unless you eat my flesh, Unless you drink my blood, you will not have everlasting life. So kung gusto daw nating mabuhay ng walang katapusan, ito ang sekreto. The body and blood of Jesus Christ. Eh paano naman yun? Paano? Even the people said, ano ba yan? Ano ba ang teaching niya? Kakainin namin ang laman niyan, inuman ang dugo niyan. Sobra na yan. And they left. You know, they left. But, Jesus did not change his teaching because he knew what he wanted to do out of love for us. And that is why during the last supper before he died, ano mamaya gagawin natin yan, reenactment yan sa, sa consecration. Jesus took bread and said, this is my body. He took the chalice, my alak, this is my blood. Yun. That's the miracle. Huh? That's the miracle of the body and blood of Christ. Yung pala ang gagawin ng ating Panginoon to make sure that we will have this bread of life always available for us. Amen? Bread of life. Isa ang mismo nagsabi, ayan. Bread of life. You will live forever. Kailangan natin ang pagkain para mabuhay physically. Kailangan din natin ang pagkain para mabuhay spiritually. Life in the Lord. Ito yun. You know, in the early years of Christianity, may mga nahuli na mga Kristiyano because Christians were being arrested, persecuted, even put to death because of their belief in Christ. Ay dinahuli sila. And the judge said, Okay, I will be lenient with you, Christians. I will not execute you, provided you give up what you are doing, your gathering, your breaking of the bread. That cannot continue. Aba, yung sabi ng isang leader ng mga Kristiyano, sabi niya, Well, <clears throat> judge, you might as well execute us. Because we are not going to give up our Eucharist. The Eucharist gives us life. The Eucharist is the guarantee of our eternal life. And if we cannot have this Eucharist here, we might as well die. We need the Holy Eucharist. Ganyan din tayo. Kailangan natin ng Eucharist. Kailangan natin si Kristo. Because it is Jesus Christ Himself who is there. Hindi mo ba sasabi, ay, parang si Lord. Ay, parang si... Hindi! The Lord Himself is there. Kamo, paano yun? Ay, siya mismo nagsabi eh. Ikaw pa sasabi mo, Lord, hindi totoo yan sinasabi mo. Subukan mo. Subukan mo sabi ng Lord. Lord, sino ngaling ka? Aba, sino ka? Diyos yun. He can do whatever He wants. If He says, this bread is my body, it becomes His living body. If this wine, He says, this is my blood, it becomes... Ay, Diyos yan eh. Marunong ka pa sa Diyos. 
For God, nothing is impossible. And the Lord gives Himself freely to us. Nandiyan siya. And He continues to be with us. Guaranteeing eternal life. Alam niyo, minsan, nagbigay ako ng anointing sa malapit ng mamatay. Pero conscious pa siya. Ano, a confession muna, bago anointing. Tapos, uh, tinanong ko siya, kaya mo pa bang to receive the Holy Communion? Uh, we call this viaticum. Viaticum. Baon. To it. Ay, Father, kailangan-kailangan ko po yan. Alam ko po ako'y mamamatay. Napakagandang mabaon ko ang Holy Eucharist. Sige po. Ay, binigyan ko ng communion. Alam mo, a day after, binawian ng buhay. But I was so at peace because I know that with the bread of life she received, she now and she now enjoys everlasting life yan ang pangako ng panginoon libre yan libre yan oo and he offers himself to us in the blessed sacrament sa kamakikita niyan so much love so much love alam mo pag mahal mong isang tao hmm, ay ayaw mong mawalay diyan sa taong yan kaya nga may mga kanta tayo makabagbag damdam. Kung ako'y iiwan mo. Oh, mamaya, mas magaling ang kanta ni Father Raul. Mamaya, pakikinggan natin. Kung ako'y iiwan mo. A- ang Lord, walang iwanan. Nandiyan siya sa Blessed Sacrament to be with us at all times. Tapos, kinakalimutan natin. Hindi natin dinadalaw. Hindi natin inaasikaso ang Panginoon. Ano ba yun? Ay, Diyos yan? To be with us. To be with us. Oh. Marami tayong mga mahal sa buhay na nasa abroad. Yung mga yan pag-aalis. Sasabi nila, Naku, papano ito? Gusto kong umalis, pero ayoko pa rin umalis. Gusto kong kasama kayo, pero hindi maaari, kailangan umalis. Kaya iiwanan ko na lang kayo ng picture. Ang sabi naman ng ulak, picture lang. Ano naman, di naman nagsasalita yan. Di naman lang ako yan. That's the best I can do, sabi ng nanay. That's the best I can do because I have to go. But not with Jesus. Jesus, when He gives Himself, remains with us together again. Always in this life until the next. Hindi tayo iiwanan ng Panginoon. Walang I am with you always until the end of time. And this happens in the most blessed Eucharist, the most blessed sacrament, Holy Communion. Kaya pagtanggap natin ng Holy Communion ay special event yan. Pero mo tinatanggap mo ang Panginoon, Diyos, Diyos. Oo. At tinatanggap mo. Kaya pay attention. Pay attention. Sa misa pa lang, sa Holy Communion pa, Naku, thank you Lord. I adore you. Lord, I praise you. I worship you. And so on. Kaya sa lahat ng mga nagsisimba, lalo na sa misa, ha? Ang focus natin ay ang Panginoon. Ha? Hindi ito nangyayari dito, ha? Hindi ito nangyayari dito. Pero sa ibang lugar, misa, simba, ang hawak, cellphone. Mm-hmm. Text ng text. Ng text ng... Wait mo ko, ha? Wait mo ko. Mm-hmm. Haba misa, eh. Haba homily, eh. Wait mo ko. Ay, misa yun. Dapat ang focus mo, ang Lord. Hindi, ano ang mas mahalaga sa iyo? Ang Diyos na lumika sa iyo o yung cellphone mo? A ver, yun. Pag nasa simbahan tayo, pag nasa misa tayo, walang ibang mahalaga kung hindi ang Panginoong nagmamahal sa iyo. No greater love we can ever have than the love of Jesus in the most blessed Eucharist. Palakpakan natin, pasalamatan natin. Thank you, Lord. And for the many times that we have neglected you, taken you for granted, or received you unworthily, forgive us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Be our life here on earth and be our eternal life in the next Thank you, Jesus. We love you. We praise you. 
we adore you in the most blessed sacrament of your body and blood, our healing Eucharist, now and forever. Amen. Palakpakan uli natin ang Panginoon. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to God our Father that through His Son Jesus, their bread of life, He may continue to feed His people and strengthen them in holiness. Full of confidence, we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Please repeat. Nourish your people, Lord. that those who are called to a ministry of teaching in the church may nourish the community of believers with the bread of God's word. We pray. Nourish your people, Lord. That as a nation, we may experience the transforming power of the Eucharist in us to help us work together as a people so that all may live in a culture of peace, unity, and renewal we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. That all fathers may not only provide for their children, but also strive to become worthy for the, their respect and emulation. We pray. Nourish your people, Lord. That those who struggle to believe that Christ is the living bread come down from heaven may be led by the Holy Spirit to the fullness of truth. We pray. Nourish your people, Lord. For all the missionaries who have left home, country, and family to proclaim the gospel to all nations, may the Lord protect them from all dangers, strengthen them in their loneliness, give joy to their communities, and fulfillment in their apostolate. May the Lord reward them in this life and in the life to come for their sacrifices and generosity for the kingdom, we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. That those who have died, nourished on the living bread during their earthly journey, may be raised on the last day, we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. God our Father, may our worship of the sacrament of the body and blood of your Son help us to experience your salvation and win for us the happiness of your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
please rise. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of His holy Church. Grant your Church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we here present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with His Apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, He offered Himself to you as the unblemished Lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by the sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that, bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the hosts of angels and saints cry out and without end we acclaim. fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, 
the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Honesta, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As children of the loving Father gathered around the healing Holy Eucharist, let us offer to him the prayer Jesus taught us. Deliver us, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all worry and distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another the love and joy of the Lord. Peace be Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the, of the world. world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
This is Jesus. Totally and really present as the bread of life. He gives himself to us completely to be our companion here and for eternity. Happier those invited to his banquet. Lord, Lord, I'm not worthy they should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Divine love, you the eternal word of the Trinity. We respect that holy love which inflamed you to offer yourself as a pleasing sacrifice to the Father. Savior, we come before you, divine heart of Jesus. We consecrate our hearts, our minds, and all our endeavors. We give you honor and praise. Disciples and to boast only in the cross of Christ. He just to be compassionate. May we be the face of God's mercy to the suffering and lost and the least. Divine sent by the Father to be a brother and Savior. We come before you, divine heart of Jesus. We consecrate our hearts, our minds, and all our endeavors. Consecrate our hearts, our minds, and all our endeavors. We give you honor and praise. We give you honor and praise. 
as we bow our heads in prayer, united with all those who are joining us in this healing Eucharist on the solemnity of the most sacred body and blood of Jesus Christ. We here and abroad who join us call on God our Father, praising Him, thanking Him for the gift of the healing Eucharist. The Eucharist that, that only gives life and life more abundantly, but also promotes our spiritual life. For Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And I have come to give you life and life more abundant. And I am the resurrection and the life. Loving Father, there is so much life, so much health given in the most holy, sacred sacrament of the Eucharist. For us, as we pray to you, let it be truly a healing Eucharist for all of us here and all over the world who are suffering any kind of ailment, illness, sickness, affliction in mind, heart, soul, spirit, and body. Come to the aid, O most loving Jesus, our healing Eucharist, and touch all those who are suffering and sick with your healing touch and power, especially those who have no access to medicine, no access to medical care, who because of their abject poverty just suffer everything without physical aid. Grant them, O Lord, your help. Send kindly souls to their assistance so that they will never feel forgotten by you, neglected by you, unloved by you. We ask that you come to the aid of those who suffer because of violence and conflicts, especially in Marawi and elsewhere. Lord, never forsake us, never leave us, and we know you will not because you have promised to be with us always and forever. Bless likewise those who care for the sick and help them in any way. And may all of us, each in his or her need, experience your healing touch and power. For you are a God of love. You are a God of consolation. You are a God of comfort. Now and forever. In Jesus' name, Amen. Palakpakan natin ang Holy Let us pray. And we include all the fathers living and departed in this healing Eucharist. We pray for God's blessing on all fathers as we pray. And we also include the special intentions of Alfred and Carol Lau, Alex and Gina Solis, and Valencia Wong and family as we pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in that chair of your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
we would just like to promote this CD uh, entitled Second Heart Songs, a compilation of 10 original new songs on the Sacred Heart which was uh, released uh, last sometime last year in October by the Sacred Heart, uh, Sacred Heart Parish uh, of uh, Kamuning. Uh, napakaganda po ng mga, mga kanta, mga awitin po rito. And the song that I, I sung uh, comes from this album. So especially those who are devotees to the Sacred Heart uh, of Jesus, we are about to celebrate the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus sa darating na... Uh, uh, Friday, no? Uh, please uh, grab a, co a copy of this CD album, new CD album. Mga ganda po makan uh, awitin dito. At para po sa mga nagsimba rito ay available po uh, dito sa likod uh, at a special price of 150 pesos. Oh. Mass discounted. Mm -hmm. At sa mga religious stores, uh, uh, especially St. Paul's. Salamat po. Father Raul, Thank you very much for joining us and sharing your God-given talents with us. And uh, we pray for him and his special ministry of giving praise through his song to the Lord. Amen? Thank you very much. And uh, join me silently in the prayer of St. Gertrude for the souls in purgatory. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses offered throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in our homes and within our families in jesus name amen magsiupo ang lahat except the fathers yung mga tatay lamang ang tatayo tatay Yung mga nakaupo, extend our hands to the fathers as we pray. Loving Father, you are the source of all fatherhood. On this Father's Day, we ask that you bless the fathers who are here and the fathers all over the world, especially those who join us in this Holy Eucharist. Reward their kindness, their patience, and their sacrifice for their loved ones here on earth and in the hereafter, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Happy Father's Day. Magsitayo na po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And together with Father Raul SVD, we will bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go and bring the healing Eucharist to others. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God.
healing Eucharist was brought to you by Philippine Daily Inquirer, St. Peter Life Plan and Chapels, Balikbayan Handicrafts, Sekusana Ladies Bags, Jam, Filtranco, and Fast Cat. <music> the most engaging inquirer yet. with our inter-island connectivity over land and sea. By combining the resources of our companies, we aim to transport people and cargo to various destinations across the country. FastCat, Jam, and Filtranco. Connecting the Philippine Islands. Ngayong linggo, bibigyan pugay natin ng isang huwarang ama. Isang pabango. Bakit kaya patok na patok? Mangustin, nakatulong upang manumbalik ang paningin. At trip sa Batangas, aarangkada. Swak na swak! 7 a.m.